Hello, today I'm going to talk about the Burmese civilization and how to beat a uh, random AI. The reason why the AI is random is because I want to have it where it's like a random situation. You don't know what you're going to get. So you have to actually think about what you're doing. Okay, like for instance, we're playing the Indians this time, it looks like. Okay. Let's look at what the Burmese can do. They get free lumber camp upgrades, which is pretty good. Their infantry get one attack per age. Oh, that's per age, including feudal age, which means their infantry are already pretty strong in feudal age. Uh, the monastery text cheaper, which means and they get most of them. So that's pretty good for them. Uh, Rabbi, those things are uh, the DPS monsters, or DPM, damage per minute, damage per second, no, not those, the uh, one shot, murder everything, if they're really close to an enemy, they're pretty much guaranteed to hit, and then they basically kill their guy, so it's a very good hit and run strategy to use a Rabbi. We well, have to be pretty good at micro if you don't want to lose them very quickly. In the Burmese, oh, elephants are pretty good, and other cal cavalry, uh, and cavalry which includes el elephants and ran by attack bonus for buildings, which is pretty good. Relics visible map is also interesting because uh, you can actually see you. Well, based on the layout of the relics, you can actually figure out where your opponent is likely to be. So you don't have to scout them out as heavily. Okay, so their unique unit is a Rambai, which is uh, into the cavalry archer, I believe. And if we check the tech tree, we also know that they. And their blacksmith is really bad when it comes to archers. So these guys are like uh, glass cannons, as you call them, because they can't take a lot of hits and then they die. And uh, that's why you have to be good at uh, micro and avoid getting shot at. And their archery range is also very bad as a result of that. Uh, yeah. Cavalry archers are no good. They don't get thumb ring. They only get parting tactics, and then only the first, the first armor upgrade, which is no good. So their main focus will be their inventory and their stable and their castle, and potentially their monks because their monastic techs are cheaper. Uh, since they get inventory, get attack one per age. Uh. Halberdier, their Halberdier is very good, as well as their champions. And yeah, and I, I probably already mentioned it, but their elephants are pretty good too. So what you can do is have an army of elephants uh, backed up with, you can afford it, you can have an army of elephants backed up with the elite Ambra, a Rambai. And they're, they, because the, the enemies, like pikes and stuff, will uh, go for the elephants. Uh, the elephants will be a meat shield for the Rambai if you're not good at microing. But if you're good at microing, you can just use the Rambai. And then just uh, charge at them with Havadir and uh, and melt them that way. It's, these guys are, do quite a bit of damage. But if your enemy is going uh, heavy on like skirms and archers, you definitely want to go for the the battle elephants because those things can take a bit of a wild thing. Or you can also raid their economy with Hussar. Because they're they're pretty good at doing that. They're okay at doing that too. Oh, another reason why uh, you want you definitely want to use battle elephants is because uh, it's unique tech where attack first buildings is pretty high. And I'm gonna get back into the game.
It makes more sense for me to take the back lane instead of forward with, but oh well. This is the back wood, this is the forward wood, because uh, the enemy's probably over here or over here. Because uh, the these relic positions. Scout my sheep, which is unfortunate. Don't run out. No, sheep. Sheep faster. Hopefully the sheep aren't there. I'm probably gonna go for a rambi and uh and the bell elephants probably. That's my plan anyway. Scouts. Or I could also do drush or drush scouts. And drush cars doesn't sound bad either. 
ันบ้างฉันไม่ดีจะมาหล่มั้ยก็หล่อยอยู่จะมาโอ้ I don't know what. And then we'll go scouts. Tables. Oh, no.
hundred gold. There we go. Okay, let's bring these guys in and start doing some damage, I think. When you fight uh, with your scouts, you want to make sure you kill the archers first since they do more damage. The the skirms only do like one damage. So. It makes a lot more sense to use uh, your scouts to kill the, kill the archers first. these farms coming from? Oh. I'm adding in more farms so I can go up to the SLA. Start building some elephants to get them off. Or the four horsemen the apocalypse is all that's left. I 
I think we might actually just sit back at home and let them boom up a bit so that they pose a bit more of a challenge I can show off like how you do like a run by and stuff. Because otherwise I'll just uh, night rush them. Yeah, just night rush them and then they'll, they'll die because they don't know how to deal with that many knights. If I let them boom up a bit, they'll actually put up a bit of a fight. Because uh, I mess up their economy pretty good by uh, constantly keeping it idle. I'm going to just charge into some elephants instead and kill them that way. And I should get hand card that early, but it's okay. Oh wow, they got to the uh, castle age pretty quickly. The problem with AI is they're very good at microwaving, so your elephants are always running around. That's kind of like it. That's kind of, he's slow. Oh, 
That poor guy is probably thinking, what did I do to deserve this? I think it's trampled by alien elephants. Chase them all the way home. I have so much gold. Still roaming around? <laughs> oh god. And they saw all the relics. Maybe I should start building some castle. Put a castle right here. We can build some around vines though. Oh, oh, oh they get converted. Oh, we can get. And we need lots and lots of castles. Uh, oh. Yep, now I'm going to receive armor. I'm going to click up the castle soon. I think that you need to go wherever I just go full castle and full elephants. Okay, 
let's unclick up the castle. Just need a bit more of that stuff. There we go. Okay. Oh, let's upgrade my mugs a little bit so they take hit me here. this early. No, my elephant, come back to me. That's a good tech. I need to go for that. Oh, yeah. Come back to me, elephant. Here we go. Charge all the elephants in, fill them up. Oh, I 
should probably upgrade the yeah that stuff. I think with the upgrades are free, I don't know if it'll cost much. Oh, the Phantoms. I need to take care of it. Okay, we got all these guys who dropped the castle on their base. Camels and they had, uh, I believe they have either skirms or pikemen, but those guys don't do anything against these elephants because they just have so much health that uh, they just they're just like huge tanks that just roll right through them. But yeah, you can just steamroll with a million elephants, and you should be able to get the job done. We have a couple I run by in the back uh, as support. Uh, because uh, you still don't want to get. If you have a more uh, run by, they'll do pretty well against like the pikemen and stuff. Because they have attack most versus uh, those guys. I think. Well, they do a ton of damage either way, so uh, most units will melt to them. And if you actually micro their run by, then you don't need that. Battle elephants as much, but these guys really help when you're uh, when you need them as a meat shield. And if you, if you even against Indians who have camels, you have so many of these guys, and then if you have like pikemen to support them, they'll just melt through everything. Run by or pikemen, because uh, yeah, these pikemen have upgraded stats as well, so. They get one attack per up, per age, I think it was. But they do a lot of damage. Yeah, only lost 60 units. Probably most of those were elephants, so they're kind of expensive. Yeah, lots of food. You need a lot of food and a lot of gold to support that kind of economy. So if they were, they're 
human player, they'd probably be raiding your economy, so you wouldn't get nearly as efficient trades and such. You got more relic gold though. You always forget more relics. I, I never remember to get the relics. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, you can uh, like or subscribe or whatever people want you to do these days. Thank you for watching.